team on is 15 seconds. The second umbilical tower moves away from the Soyuz. Preliminary. Preliminary. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Intermediate. Prime and lift off. First stage engines. Should be at flight speed now. Lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket transporting Mike Fink, Yuri Lonchikov, and Richard Garriott to their home in space. 20 seconds. Engine of stage one, stages one and two, operate nominally. Engines one and two operating nominally. Uh, launch structural parameters are nominal. Copy. Good roll and pitch program according to flight controllers. Soyuz is heading toward a link-up with the International Space Station two days from now. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. First stage of the Soyuz is 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter as it burns for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. 60 seconds. Pitch your roll, nominal, copy. 70. One minute into the flight of the Soyuz, everything nominal. Copy. Velocity is 1,100 miles an hour or 500 meters per second. Jettison of the four strap-on boosters. These have been completing their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour, or 1,500 meters a second at two minutes. Receiving live in-cabin views of the crew aboard the Soyuz as they rocket into orbit. And 80 seconds. Stabilization nominal. Uh, the Soyuz second stage is performing as advertised. The second stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Five minutes into the flight of the Soyuz, the core booster is burnt out and is separating at an altitude of 105 miles or 170 kilometers, and the third stage will begin ignition. Mission Control Moscow confirms third stage cutoff and separation. The single liquid fuel engine has now shut down and has dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. We have a confirmed spacecraft separation. Soyuz capsule and crew inside are now safely in orbit. The Soyuz's third stage steering jets are now firing to separate the booster from the capsule, and the Soyuz is orbiting at an altitude of about 143 by 118 miles. Two days from now, a link up in space will take place high above Russia within ground tracking stations. That docking, again set for 3.33 a.m. Central Time, will continue the seamless transition of one crew to the next. Eleven days from now, handover completed, Expedition 17 minus Greg Chamatov, but with Garriott, will board the Soyuz currently docked at the station and return home after six months in space and leave Expedition 18, including Chamatov, to oversee the ongoing research and operation of the space station. During its increment, Expedition 18 will oversee a significant expansion of habitability.